Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Network. We're going to talk about Brian Kemp versus Stacey Abrams. They had a debate, and well, let's just say that Brian Kemp destroyed her. Now, um, I do believe Brian Kemp and, and Trump have kind of mended their fences lately. I know I did see Fox News uh, multiple times in Georgia uh, out on location, and right, wrong, or indifferent, the Republicans in Georgia love Brian Kemp. A lot of his ideals around business, they tend to like in what he's done for the state. Also, let's just acknowledge that you've got a radical leftist, I think, in our opinion, that is actually pretty dangerous to our democracy and Stacey Abrams um, that is running against him. So this is one of these times where, plain and simple, we need Brian Kemp to beat Stacey Abrams. I mean, there's no other way to put it. You cannot have her as the governor of that state. Uh, Georgia will go right down the pisser in such a way that New York and Oregon and Washington and uh, Illinois have gone down the uh, proverbial political toilet bowl. We've seen what's happened when radicals are running the show. Uh, So they had a debate. Brian Kemp did absolutely crush her. Um, I would like to keep in mind as we go, as we get ready to go through this, um, let me just show you a couple of different things real fast. Did Stacey Abrams start Fair Fight? Now, what is Fair Fight? That is one of her two elect- of election voting packs that she is involved in. Fair, the Fair Fight Action is an organization founded in 2018 by Stacey Abrams to address voter suppression in Georgia and across the United States. Okay, well, that's just a flat lie and a false narrative. Now, that's her face also on another pack. Another organization called VotingWhileBlack.com. Now, we remember Georgia and Brian Kemp passed a voting law to make it uh, make sure that everything involving elections were on the up and up, okay, and cut the risk down for fraud. They claimed everybody went nuts Joe Biden, Stacey Abrams. The MLB moved their all star game out of Atlanta, hurting primarily black Atlanta. Yeah, black-owned businesses got hurt by that decision and the overreaction. Now, how do we know it was an overreaction? And I'm sure Stacey Abrams would never admit to this. Georgia primary voting skyrockets. Clay Travis says the MLB owes state an apology. So what happened? That narrative involving voter suppression was destroyed. Voting skyrocketed. For the primaries in Georgia. I mean, you know, oh, heaven forbid anybody wants integrity in the election. Brian Kemp, and we got uh, some videos on this. Brian Kemp crushes Stacey Abrams in Georgia debate. Republican Georgia Governor Brian Kemp crushed Democratic challenger Stacey Abrams on Monday, hitting her for being weak on crime and for wanting lockdowns During the coronavirus pandemic, as the debate debate began, Adams once again peddled the lie that she conceded the 2018 election to Brian Kemp, even though she spent months asserting that the election had been rigged against her. So let's just listen to this. Stacey Abrams. Yeah, Ms. Abrams, in 2018, you didn't concede defeat to Governor Kemp. And you talked to systemic problems with the state's election system. This election, do you commit to accept the outcome of the vote, regardless of what it shows? And do you stand by your use of words like rigged four years ago to describe the state's election system? In 2018, I began my speech on November 16th, acknowledging that Governor Kemp had won the election. Oh, did you now? I do have one very affirmative statement to make. We won. But I didn't lose. I got the votes. But we won't know exactly how many because of how they cheated. I did win my election. I just didn't get to have the job. We Okay. So, and that's five minutes and 20 seconds of her denying the 2018 election loss. I mean, come on. Shut 
up. Okay. You are literally going on a debate stage and lying. When Georgia passed its voter integrity law in 2021, President Joe Biden and Stacey Abrams referred to it as Jim Crow 2.0. That's what we were talking about before we got into this. But as Kemp rightly noted in the debate, the black voter turnout in Georgia has steadily increased since the law's passage. I mean, the fact is, Stacey Abrams has done more to give the middle finger to black voters by acting like black voters are not competently capable of getting out and getting the things that are required to vote legally. I mean, that in itself is just, uh, I mean, I I guess, you know, if you want to be insult your own race, I guess that's her business, but that's what she's done. In 2018, in the governor's race, we had the largest African-American turnout in the country. She said that the Senate Bill 202, our recent Election Integrity Act that we passed two years ago, would be suppressive and Jim Crow 2.0. Just this past May in our primaries, we again had a record turnout in the Republican primary and Democratic primary. In Georgia, it's easy to vote. It's hard to cheat. Let's listen. Uh, the Miss Abrams is going to do a lot of attacking of my record tonight because she doesn't want to talk about her own record. In mm. 2018, in the governor's race, we had the largest African American turnout in the country. She said that Senate Bill 202, our recent Elections Integrity Act, what we passed two years ago, would be suppressive in Jim Crow 2.0. Just this past May, in our primaries, we again had record turnout in the Republican primary and the Democratic primary. In Mic drop. He dropped the mic on her. Kemp also hit Stacey Abrams for her Black Lives Matter extremism from her support of defund the police and the elimination of cash bail. Oh, man. You want to talk about destructive to a state. Boy, it in these states that decide to do this or somehow their citizens decide to pass this, I don't think they understand the pure chaos that's going to ensue. I I really don't. Uh, This is very interesting. Listen to this. Well, I would just tell people that, look, I support safety and justice. But Ms. Abrams refused to answer the question, so I'll let you know that the answer is zero. No sheriffs are endorsing her statewide because of her stances on wanting to defund the police, eliminate cash bail, and serving on the boards of organizations like the Margaret Casey Foundation that supports and gives grants to organizations that are promoting the defund the police movement. Okay, so he 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 dropped he dropped another my uh, dropped the mic on her again in coming out and saying, "Look, zero. That's a goose egg. Can you imagine? Think about this a moment. Zero sheriffs in the entire state of Georgia." Support the radical known as Stacey Abrams. Wow. Wow. That look, Brian Kemp obviously came prepared and destroyed her. Brian Kemp made waves during the 2020 lockdowns by being one of the first states to open for business, during which Stacey Abrams said there was, quote, no legitimate reason for her state to lift virus restrictions. How about all of the small business? crashing and burning into the ground. I guess mom and pop business, small business doesn't mean much to somebody like Stacey Abrams. I mean, after all, uh, it's unbelievable the amount of donations she gets, and she gets them from the elite, make no mistake, and there's probably a Soros in the woodpile, if you know what I mean. There's no legitimate reason for reopening the state except politics, And I think it's deeply ingenuous. He would pretend otherwise. We're not ready to return to normal. We have people who are most vulnerable and least resilient being put on the front lines contracting a disease they cannot get treatment for. Kemp took Abrams to task for her pro-lockdown policy that would have crippled Georgia's economy. Let's just keep it real. Let's go. Well, I would remind Georgians that the first part of my plan was keeping our state open for business and allowing all business people and working Georgians to work when Stacey Abrams was criticizing me for doing that. 
also pushing to get our kids back in the classroom. Mm. When again, Stacey Abrams was criticizing me for doing that. A lot of Georgians, including African Americans and other minorities, cannot go to work if their kids are not in the classroom. We had the lowest unemployment rate in the country for African Americans. Wow. Wow. I mean, look, that's what happens. That's what happens. A lot of these Democrats come up in these debates. We watched Herschel Walker own Raphael Warnock's ad, radical ass the other day. Uh, he is, n I I'm sorry. I, I don't want to hear he's a Christian. I don't want to hear he's a pastor, a reverend. None of that. Not with your pro-abortion stance. I do not want to hear that. You can't be one in the same, in my opinion. Sorry, not sorry. Um, look, so a lot of people will feel like, you know, Brian Kemp is the lesser of all evils in this scenario. Absolutely. I understand that. And I get that. Um, but you cannot have somebody like Stacey Abrams because, look, if she becomes governor, this is who the Democrats want to have run for president one day. Now, I will say this. Luckily for us, I think Stacey Abrams suffers from something that Hillary Clinton suffered from. The innate ability to have uh, so many people absolutely just hate her. Just can't stand her. The easy hateability factor involving Stacey Abrams. It's something that Hillary Clinton suffered from. You can go look it up. There was every year they come out with the most hated politicians, and Hillary Clinton was always on the list. I think Stacey Abrams suffers from some of that, too. I mean, I just can't stand her. You just can't stand her. Because you feel like every time she opens her mouth, it's just a bunch of lies just puking all over you. Right? Man, that's... There's so much involving that voter law that she was wrong about. But if I was going to look at something, anything that came out of this the most, for my money, I'm going to really look at the fact that no sheriffs endorsed her whatsoever. I think that is, I think that is massive. Okay? Because that's telling you, look, if you vote in this woman, crime is going to skyrocket. Don't Illinois, don't Illinois, Georgia. Don't New York, Georgia. Be careful what you wish for. That voter law uh, in, in uh, causing black people to not be able to vote, that's a lie. It's just a flat lie. And that's been proven already statistically. Make no mistake. That's that first article I showed you. So, and, and he brought it up too. Record turnout among African Americans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Stacey Abrams, African Americans are people too. And they also know how to legally vote. It's so insulting you think they cannot. Peace, I'm out. Till next time.